Hi, I'm Thomas DeVoyce. And I'm Meredith Burris. Welcome to The Fix, a new show powered by Lionel Racing to give you, the NASCAR collector, your die-cast fix for the week. From prototype previews to race recaps and answering your burning questions, we hope The Fix will feed your die-cast addiction and leave you wanting more. So let's talk about the race from this past weekend. Mm -hmm. From the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series heading to Richmond, Virginia, those drivers trying to clinch those last remaining spots. I mean, what an exciting race that was. Absolutely. When you think about Richmond, ever since the chase has started, man, the Richmond race has just been so exciting from sparks and controversy and tempers flaring. I mean, in this past weekend, did not disappoint. Between the situation between uh, Tony Stewart and Ryan Newman, that could carry over in the coming weeks. And the question is, will that hurt Tony Stewart's run for a fourth title? Who knows? I mean, anything could happen at this point. And those two are definitely going to be the two to watch over the Absolutely. next few weeks. So, forget about controversy. Let's talk about dominance. Denny Hamlin behind that number 11 Toyota Camry. I mean, from pole position to victory lane, he was just pushing hard the whole night. So, also, Kyle Larson behind the number 42. Mm -hmm. I mean, over the past three weeks, he has finished top three or above. That's impressive. It is real impressive. It's showing that he's ready to win the title as well. I mean, a first at Michigan, followed by a third at Darlington, and then second at Richmond. I mean, he's looking really good. But not just Larson. Think about for the first time ever, we've had four four rookies or four new guys who've never been in the title before. You got Larson, we got Chris Boucher, you got Chase Elliott, and Austin Dillon. All four of them, new guys in the chase, running for a championship that have never done that before. I think it's going to be an exciting, exciting chase. I can't wait to see how it unfolds. Okay, so we've talked about the chase. The chase is set. We have all 16 chase driver cars in front of us. Several of these cars, if not all of them, are still available at lionelracing.com and through your local dealers. So check them out. Be sure to order them today. One of the perks of working at Lionel Racing is that we get to take the first look at all new NASCAR and NHRA diecast. And here in front of me, I have three new hot paint schemes that are from Darlington Raceway from the Southern 500. These are really great cars. The first one I'm going to go over is the prototype Chevrolet SS of Tony Stewart. This car is the one that actually won the fan vote. This car was inspired by the Coca-Cola cars that NASCAR Hall of Famer Bobby Allison drove in 1971 and 1972. This car is emblazoned with the theme, The Real Thing, the same that was actually run at the track back in 1971 and 1972. This car is also available at LionelRacing.com and through your local dealers. You can also get the University of Racing version as well, the Bobby Allison that this one is resembled after. Moving on to the Jimmy Johnson prototype Lowe's. This is another great looking car. This paint scheme was based on the car David Pearson drove in 1979 at Talladega after Dale Earnhardt Sr. was injured at Pocono. Pearson finished second at Talladega in this car. This car was actually also designed after Brendan Droppo. He also designed the Superman paint scheme and several others for Jimmy Johnson as well. Okay, moving on to the third and final car um, for today is the Kevin Harvick Bush Beer retro throwback car. Unlike the first two that were prototypes, this is actually the number one elite that we keep here in-house. Harvick dominated much of the Darlington race in this tribute to NASCAR Hall of Famer Cale Yarborough. Unfortunately, he finished second and he wasn't really happy with that. But this paint scheme recreates the Bush Oldsmobile that Yarborough drove in the infamous 1979 Daytona 500. The footage of Cale getting out of this car and stepping into a fight with Allison Brothers is now the stuff of legend. Carver got fighting mad in this paint scheme as well. Unfortunately, it wasn't another driver, but his own pit crew. Again, these cars are all available at lionelracing.com or through your local dealers. So visit there to order your car today. It's time to answer some of the most burning questions that our collectors have. So we're gonna answer some of these questions that we get asked on the forum, Facebook, and other social media channels. So here, let's go to the first one. It says, where will I be able to find the NASCAR Authentics Darlington Throwback Diecast Wave? That's a good question. We have 15 of them being released, probably within the next two weeks. Those cars are actually 164 scale that are presented to Walmart, Toys R Us, um, and other stores like Hy-Vee, Target, and you can get, find those at those stores. 
the Darlington throwback cars are actually going to be in a separate sidekick, a Darlington themed sidekick. They'll be on their own special shelf and you'll definitely want to look for those in Walmart and Hy-Vee in the next two weeks. You can also find more information on these cars at lionelauthentics.com. That's www.lionelauthentics.com. You can get all the information on the 164 cars and the 164 haulers that have been released so far. Okay, on to the second question. I really like this question. Everybody asks this question all the time. How can I get my hands on a prototype? Well, let me tell you, prototypes are the most coveted die cast of all collectors. They're very rare. They're the first ones off the line that we get and that we take to the teams for samples. And a lot of times those cars can even change because they'll go to the teams, they'll go to the sponsors, and things will actually change on those cars. So they're very, very unique and rare cars. But how do you get them? There's several ways we get them. A lot of times on Facebook, the forum, social media channels, we just give them out as prizes. We do uh, giveaways. So be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also join us on our forum. Go to lionelracing.com, check on the RCCA resources tab, and click on the insider forum and join the forum today. We do cash auctions sometimes for those. A lot of times also the teams will sell them for charitable auctions as well. You can also get them at our May event. That is our annual RCCA member appreciation event. If you never joined us for that in May, I would highly encourage you to join us for that event as well. All right, and on to the final question. Are you ever going to revamp the DIN site? First of all, let's explain DIN. DIN stands for Diecast Identification Number, for those of you who didn't know. And that DIN site has needed revamping for some time. And I have great news. Here this year, we're already talking to some folks about getting this site redone. We hope to have some more news in the future, so stay tuned on that because I think you'll like what we've come up with so far on that. And that's it for today. That's all the questions I have here. So send us your questions for the fix online and we'll give you a personal shout out. Be sure to use hashtag the fix on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and send us your questions.